as well and in collaboration with uh, london business university singapore let us start today's session with a word of prayer the topic for today's discussion is writing an effective research title and abstract and we have with us dr s prasanna assistant professor department of computer science of our institution she has got 15 years of teaching experience she has obtained her doctor of philosophy in computer science from bharatiya university coimbatore in the year 2017 her area of research is information security she has completed oracle 10g workforce development instructor training program in oracle university new delhi and she is an oracle certified associate she has authored a book entitled wireless ad hoc networks concept and protocols and contributed a chapter entitled implementing iot based agriculture monitoring and smart farming using drones in india in the book indian studies china india relations she has delivered technical talk in oracle 11g and oracle 12c in science academies she has done her science academies refresher courses sponsored by indian academy of sciences bangalore indian national science academy new delhi and the science academy of sorry national academy of sciences allahabad she has published 17 research articles in national and international journals and presented nearly 20 papers in national and international conferences uh, prasanna ma'am thank you so much for accepting the invitation uh, to share your thoughts on how to write an effective research uh, title and uh, the abstract thank you so much and over to you ma'am thank you so much thank you so much ma'am for your introduction uh, good afternoon one and all present here uh, i would like to place my sincere thanks to dr st deepa ma'am for giving me this opportunity to share my knowledge in research writing Uh, the topic for today's uh, session is writing an effective research title and abstract uh, before getting into the topic i would like to touch upon the basic challenges every researcher will face uh, during the research or before starting writing a research paper so basically every budding researcher will have these challenges that is lacking of time lack of resources lacking in interest fear motivation they will not be having any motivation lack of guidance uh, unclarity or uncertainty in topic selection choosing effective sources and lack of forces focus and a lack of confidence every uh, budding researcher first they have to have a, a growth mindset 
instead of having a fixed mindset so here he should not here he, uh, she should not think that the mistakes means i failed there and this writing a research paper is very hard i will never figure out figure out this i cannot do this okay my first idea did not work up so i cannot do it or i cannot continue i am not good at this or i can't make anything better instead of having the fixed mindset every researcher should have a growth mindset growth mindset like mis mistakes help me learn this will take more time and effort but i can do it anyway i'll keep trying even when it is hard i can try another idea what am i missing where can i uh, correct it and i can improve with uh, effort the process of the research the process of the research flows like this first you have to choose your research area narrow it down to a specific topic identify the problem research problem one minute i'll just uh, minimize this identify the research problem prepare the research objectives create a good research design and prepare the research proposal and start the research so these are all the process of the research so once we get into an idea what are we going to do next we have to set the contest for writing our research paper so before you do with the research paper before you start your research paper you should be able to define the research question or a theme or topic gather the existing literature for the topic you have selected construct an outline of your research summarize all the results and organize and interpret your results once you are ready with this you can start your research but before you start your research writing you should ensure that you know the answer for all these questions like what should be included in the research paper how you are going to convey the information do i have all the necessary informations like data analysis results references etc to be included in my paper is my topic consistent with the scope of the journal and what are the journal guidelines so before we write we should know the answer for all these here comes the basic structure of the research paper so research paper must start with a title followed by an abstract keywords introduction materials and methods results discussion conclusion acknowledgments and references this is the basic structure of a research paper the uh, uh, end in the entire research paper three significant elements that decides whether the research paper is good or not is your title which attracts the reader much is your title abstract and then the keywords so title the first thing the journal editors and reviewers will see upon receiving your research paper is a title and will immediately form a view on what they should expect in your research paper moreover the title of your research paper is the only aspect that will be freely available to the readers through search engines or indexing databases so it is therefore it is very imperative that we have to clearly give our title so that we um, impress the readers so first uh, important point we have to keep in mind when we frame a title is um, we have to clearly frame it so first impression that is the first impression for our research paper and next we have to ensure whether our title conveys the main topic of our research and we have to uh, limit the words in the title preferably between 10 to 12 words uh, we will do the uh, title framing with a small example i'll just explain the basic steps to write an effective title with a small example so before framing a title we should know what is the research paper about what is the methodology used in the research okay what have you studied and what are all the results you have obtained in the research paper okay for example I'll, i have taken an example here if my research paper investigates the accuracy of an ontology based decision support system in the diagnosis of a cancer uh, diagnosis of the cancer and the methodology here i have used is the randomized trial okay and i have studied 22 patients from three hospitals in chennai and then i have developed a decision support system in accurate uh, 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 i have developed a decision support system which is accurate in the diagnosis okay so with these key terms with this idea of our research we'll uh, extract only the key terms so the key terms here is ontology based decision support system 
and the methodology is a randomized trial cancer three hospitals 22 patients and my result is accurate so i have taken only the key terms my research is this i have taken only the key terms from my research i have included all the methodologies everything in my uh, key terms now the step 3 is to build a sentence with all these keywords so with the keywords which i have selected from my research the next step is to build a, build a sentence with these keywords so i have built a sentence here this study is a randomized trial that investigates whether ontology based decision support system improved the accuracy in diagnosing 22 cancer patients from three hospitals in chennai the system found to be accurate so i formed a sentence here now the next step is to remove the unwanted and repetitive words and link the remaining so the uh, unwanted words i found here is this study is uh, already it is a research so we not mention it in the title and then that investigates whether so this is again uh, not required and the system is found to be accurate already about accuracy we have spoken here in the previous sentence so we need not repeat it again so strike out the unwanted repeated uh, words and now the next stage remove the, you will get this sentence which is given in blue color here randomized trial of ontology based decision support system for improving the diagnostic accuracy of 22 cancer patients from three hospitals in chennai so here again remove the non essential information and rephrase the title it is not required to tell about your um, uh, data or from where you have got the data and all so we can remove the 22 patients details and the hospital details from the title so remaining is randomized trial of ontology based decision support system for improving the diagnostic accuracy of cancer patients so you can use this title or you can rephrase it like this ontology based decision support system improves the diagnostic accuracy of a cancer patient a randomized trial so uh, we have to ensure that our title is good and clear only then it will attract the readers and the reviewers so all these steps you have to do when you frame a title so i repeat again this basic steps you have to do to from uh, to form a clear title and now let us have a small exercise from these three list uh, options let us try to decide which uh, title is best so first option is thus consumption of hydroxychloroquine drug by senior population prevent the corona virus in senior population okay this is the sample title which i have given first one second option is consumption of hydroxychloroquine drug by senior population a randomized trial so here we have mentioned what method we have used and third one effect of hydroxychloroquine for covid-19 prevention in elderly a randomized trial so out of these three i think we can ignore the first one because it is uh, in a question questioning way you can go for the second one or the third one so second one or the third one is the best title here here this slide gives you a research outline i have given a research outline with this research outline let us try to frame a title okay the research outline is my research paper examine the relationship between social media use and depressive symptoms this is the abstract of a research so with this abstract we'll try to frame a title for this so i studied the influences and consequences of using social media in developing depressive symptoms among children who spend a lot of time in social media so it is a cross sectional study sample population is children aged between 5 to 17 years and there was a positive degree of correlation between social media use and depressive symptoms so this is a research outline given so i have suggested a title here for this okay for that given research outline okay you can have any of the titles given here impacts of extensive use of social media in developing depressive symptoms among children a cross sectional study or you can have this title also extensive use of social media develops depressive symptoms in children a cross sectional study so once your research outline is there with you with all your uh, um, problem uh, solution and then the methodology use you can frame the title so try to give everything in the title your uh, the problem you are going to find a solution for it the methodology you have used and then the results okay and next 
always we have to remember to write a title after writing your entire research paper it is not that first you decide the title and then write the paper write your entire paper and keep in mind the content you have given in your abstract and then the content you have given in your conclusion and based on these two try to frame a title and always keep it short and simple include all the essential information about your paper and do not use abbreviations or too many technical terms in the title and use keywords that highlights what your paper is about and never insert a period at the end of your title right and next for the title selection create a unique research title it must attract the future researchers your title must be very unique so that it attracts the researchers and if your title is very common it will be hard to prove your con contribution so always ensure that your title is unique and if you are the one to introduce any keyword or a phrase for the first time then you will be known for the reference later always and innovative phrases or statements in your research title will be made leading a difference in the future okay it will make much difference in the future and next is writing a research abstract so an abstract is like a movie trailer you know it offers a preview or a highlight it keep uh, highlight the key points and helps the people to understand what your paper is about what your research article is about it will give an entire uh, uh, you will be show, giving in short your entire work so your audience or the readers reviewers will understand what your paper is going to talk about if your abstract doesn't grab the attention uh, of the readers it will not make yeah, and if it will not make the good sense then there is a chance for your paper for not getting selected in your journals moreover even uh, after your research paper is published your abstract is the only first thing that is available through the electronic devices free of cost for any reader okay and when they uh, search using the keyword your abstract will be available so they will consider reading the rest of the manuscript only if your abstract is interesting so for studies in humanities and social sciences the abstract is typically very descriptive so that is it describes the topic of research and its findings but usually doesn't give a specific information so let us see how our abstract must look like and how we can frame an abstract so as i said you abstract is a short summary of the research paper so it lets the readers get the gist of your paper or the article quickly in order to decide whether to read the full paper or not so it prepares the readers to follow the detailed information analysis arguments given in your full paper so your abstract must be interesting always so it helps readers to remember the key points from your paper so before you start writing your abstract you should be able to know the answer for these questions you should be able to know about your manuscript what have you done in your manuscript why uh, did you uh, do it actually for what purpose what did you find it and what are all these findings useful and important why are all these findings useful and important once you know the answer for all these questions you can clearly write an abstract so as i said you already it is a quick evaluation about the content of your research paper and needs to convey a complete synopsis of your research paper within a certain limit you have to use a word limit approximately 500 words it depends on the journal specification or guidelines okay of any particular journal and it appears in indexing the databases there are three kinds of abstracts actually descriptive informative and structured so descriptive kind of abstracts are used in social sciences it uh, briefly describes the research work informative abstracts are the kind of abstracts which are used in natural sciences and applied sciences and this includes background aim method results and conclusion structured abstracts are used in medicine medical sciences and these are arranged in different headings they'll be using side headings also in abstract usually in our research we'll not be using any side headings but in medical sciences where structured kind of abstracts are used uh, objective method results and conclusion will be uh, written in a paragraph common structure of your abstract goes like this first you have to give your general topic and research problem then give about your methodology and write about your results and conclusion so when you give about your topic and research problem ensure you are you are saying about what problem you are trying to solve and what motivates you have to start with a slight introduction 
outline the current statement or state of art identify the problem motivation for three or four sentences write about the general topic and your research problem in three or four sentences and write about the methodology that how you received your objectives highlight the methodology okay and show your novelty in three or four sentences and finally in research in conclusion you can write about your findings and its significance and highlight the research specific results of the paper in two or three sentences so based on the specification of the journal you can frame your abstract within 500 words approximately so now we'll see each and every part of the abstract little bit in depth so in the structure of the abstract the first you have to mention about purpose and motivation so here you have to say what made you decide to do this study or project why are you initiating so why this study important to your field or for a lay reader and why should someone read the entire paper so your first two lines of your abstract should instigate the interest of the reader and next after you give the slight introduction next you have to give about your problem what is your research trying to better understand or what problem is it trying to solve what is the scope of your study does it try to explain something general or specific what is your central claim or argument so your problem will be the next and tell about the approach detail your research or the method types of the study variables and extent of work so here you can briefly present the evidence to support your claim and highlight your most important sources then write about your results wherein uh, you will be saying about your results in a concrete terms and how you did uh, how you arrived to the particular results and if there is any comparison to be made with the hypothesis also you can show it here and finally conclude your abstract saying the effects of these results uh, on which field you have mentioned about and what are the other kinds of studies that can be derived from this uh, uh, solution okay and what other information is needed to expand the knowledge in this area so you can give everything in short in abstract here i have given a sample abstract so this is uh, been taken from social sciences so reporting the title of the this is uh, title of the uh, research work is reporting new findings about the reasons for increasing economic homogamy among spouses so once you write an abstract you should be able to segregate the parts of your abstract so this in this abstract the first part says about the topic and the question underlined the second part says about the previous research in this particular field the next topic which is highlighted in yellow says about what method you have used in this study and the last part says about the finding and the implications which is significant to this study so once you frame an abstract ensure that you have the answers for all the questions given in this abstract now this is a sample abstract so here again you you should be able to see whether you have given something related to your title and then the introduction you have mentioned about the methodology and you have arrived about the uh, results so here this abstract talks about uh, ensuring the quality of food particularly seafood has increasingly become an important issue nowadays quality management system empower any organization to identify measure control and improve the quality of the products manufactured that will eventually lead to imp uh, improved business performance with the advent of new technologies now tech, uh, intelligent systems are being developed okay so this is what the introduction and now i'm going to tell what i'm going to do now so to ensure the quality of seafood so my paper is about quality uh, management system okay so to ensure the quality of the seafood and ontology based seafood quality analyzer and minor model is proposed so here i am telling my problem state what i am going to do in my research paper okay the knowledge is represented using ontology the domain concepts are defined using ontology so this paper presents the initial part of the proposed model so i am in the starting stage of my research so i am i'm mentioning in my abstract that only the first part is proposed here the analysis of quality test parameter values okay so now here in abstract itself we are mentioning what are all the algorithms being used here two algorithms are proposed to do this analysis so the algorithms are comparing comparison algorithm and data store updater algorithm 
the algorithms ensure that the values of the various quality tests are in acceptable range okay and now the real data sets taken from the different seafood companies in kerala india and validated by marine product export development authority of india are used for experiments i have said about now what is my experiment also so the performance now it is results and conclusion the performance of the algorithms is evaluated using standard performance metrics such as precision recall and accuracy the results obtained show that all the three measures achieved good results so if you could see here in that abstract we have mentioned about all the basic three things to be highlighted in your abstract that is your general topic you have spoken about your topic and the research problem also and you have given about the methodology also you have said about results and you have clearly concluded the abstract also okay so this instigates the interest of the reader to read your entire research paper so whenever you frame an abstract keep in mind the 10 uh, steps which guides you in preparing a good abstract so begin writing the abstract after you have finished writing your paper so always write your entire paper and then write your abstract after completing your conclusion come to your abstract after writing your abstract then start framing your title okay so when you frame your abstract pick out the major objectives and conclusions from your introduction and the conclusion sections so you have to take content from the introduction section also and then the conclusion section also so select the key sentences and frames from your uh, phrases from your methods of course you have to say in your abstract what methodology you have used and you are you'll be mentioning about the results uh, um, you have arrived in your results section also okay and now arrange the sentences and phrases selected uh, in the step step 2 3 and 4 into a single paragraph so in this step 2 we have taken some sentence from introduction conclusion section and then we have taken the important points from methods and from the result section so introduction method results and conclusion all has to come in the abstract okay and make sure that this paragraph does not contain any new information that is not there in your research paper do not tell about any new information which you are not speaking inside your paper okay any undefined abbreviations you must not use in your abstract okay uh, and you are not supposed to give any um, previous literature or reference citations citations are not allowed in abstracts and don't give any unnecessary details about the methods used give only relevant short crispy gist information next remove all the extra information okay then link your sentences to ensure that all the information flows well so you have taken points from each and every part of your research now ensure that the information flows well okay so it it must be in this order that is basic study okay design methodology techniques used your findings summary of your interpretations conclusions and then implications okay and confirm that there is consistency between the information presented in the abstract and inside the paper so whatever you have detailed in your abstract must be explained in your research article also inside so now you can get a suggestion from your colleague or guide and then you can see whether it solves the purpose of your research the aim is mentioned the methods and conclusions are clearly stated okay and finally check the guidelines of your journal target journal in which you are trying to publish check whether it meets the guidelines and then you can submit your uh, abstract so the common mistakes we do when we frame the abstracts are we sometimes try to give too much background or methods or information which is not necessary and we may sometimes try to include any tables or references we don't include figures images tables or any references uh, you are not supposed to use abbreviations or acronyms also and detailed quantitative results are included okay you are not necessary to give detailed quantitative give in short okay give your results in short and next is the uh, keywords which is also an important part of your research article and keywords are mentioned below the abstracts so it is a tool to help indexers and the search engines to find the relevant papers so we will be searching based on the keywords only okay so choose the most important words concepts or phrases that are repeatedly used in your research paper okay 
uh, uh, search engines use these keywords only to decide whether to display your paper to the interested readers. So keyword significantly increases the frequency of your citations. So always ensure that you are giving the keywords properly. Uh, based on your abstract, you can give five to 10 keywords. So here I have given a sample uh, for exercise improves healthy in elderly. This is the topic of your research. Then you can include the keywords like this. And based on your uh, methods used in your paper also, you can add a few more keywords. And this uh, title we have seen already, effect of hydroxychloroquine for COVID-19 prevention in the elderly, a randomized trial. So if this is your topic of your research, then you can frame keywords based on these. Word cloud, okay? And next. So key takeaways of this um, um, uh, important part is without title, abstract, and the keywords, okay? Uh, sorry. These are all the key marketing tools of your research paper. So every researcher, they will first see the title, read the abstract, and then see the keywords. If this is interesting, then they will continue reading your paper. Okay. So a good research paper titles must contain only 10 to 12 words long. Use descriptive terms and phrases that accurately highlight the core content of the paper. Okay. And the abstract should provide a quick and accurate summary of your paper. Remember, and this only will help the reader to decide whether the rest of, paper, rest of the paper is worth reading or not. And finally, the keywords ensure that your paper is indexed well by the databases and search engines and thus improve the discoverability of your research. Therefore, keywords must be selected after careful consideration. So uh, for topic uh, selection, you can use this um, site that is Clarivative.com products, essential science indicators. So this site gives you top performing research in web of science core, core collection. Okay. And also it reveals the emerging science trends as well as influential individual institutions, papers, journals, and countries in the field of your research. Or else you can refer to the Google trends uh, before selecting any kind of uh, uh, topic for your research. So if you want to uh, get a uh, handful of keyword for your abstract, you can use these tools. One is socialmention.com, jasondavis.com or tagproud.com. So you can paste your abstract in this uh, tool. It will suggest you uh, keywords. You can use it in your research article. And hope uh, this will make you ready to write a research paper. And always before you start writing your research paper, you have to keep in your mind whether you are submitting your paper to a trusted journal and check, does your paper include the basic sections of the research paper? It is grammatically free in errors. And is the plagiarism, uh, is your paper plagiarism free? Is your paper relevant to the scope of the journal? And does the paper format matches the journal format? Okay. And if your answer is yes for most of the questions, almost all the questions here, then submit your research article. Thank you. Oh, thank, oh, thank you so you. much, ma'am. It was actually a very good explanation on how to write the title uh, and the abstract. Thank you so much. If the uh, participants, if you have any queries, you can just uh, post on a chat box. Is there any queries? There was actually no queries, only all positive comments are in the chat box. Uh, thank you so much, Prasanna, ma'am and uh, uh, requesting the uh, training team to uh, propose the vote of thanks. And the feedback form is already there in the chat box. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. It is an honor to propose the vote of thanks for today's session. I would like to thank the Almighty for making today's session a success. 
I extend my gratitude to our speaker, Dr. Prasanna, for taking the time to be a part of the FDP series on journal writing and for sharing her knowledge and insights. I thank all the participants who have taken the time out to attend today's session. A big thank you to our secretary and our associate secretary for their constant guidance and support. Thank you, Deepama.